Hi, it's Leo Sarkissian. I'm glad to be with you today. Got our fingers crossed for the budget being wrapped up soon by the House and Senate. They're having conference committee deliberations. Big news, as you know, we're waiting for that big investment in day habilitation services and also the rate increase for community day supports and employment and some related DDS services. So fingers crossed on that. I also want to do a shout out to uh, DDS on its new site, uh, which is a data site, which you can read elsewhere on our notes from the ARC. And I also want to do a shout out in another direction and just plead for a more centralized strategy for those that are still at home who need one-to-one -one supports. Uh, I do believe if, you know, there's area offices, yes, local outreach is important and it's great that you're doing that DDS, but centralized strategy around the local outreach for those who are most in need would be, you know, helpful as well. Um, I also want to point out, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, our colleague Nancy Murray, Vice President of Achieva, uh, part of the ARC, um, noted that $170 million reduction in the budget because it's unspent money in Pennsylvania. Uh, they have over 5,000 people in emergency need. So, and basically that money was returned because the state hadn't spent it due to the workforce shortage. Um, and her argument is let's put it into the rates and supports. So we're glad we're getting some of that boost in Massachusetts, but we also, you know, as in Pennsylvania, want to make sure the people in need are served and supported, at least in some other ways, if not at the day programs, while we wait for some transition or some creative approaches, alternatives. Um, I also want to point out that we worry about some of the transitions in managed care that have happened in other states. And in Texas, we read that their managed care transition is now delayed till 2028 as a final step. And there was actually a report from one of the consultants that the transition would result in cuts in specialized therapies. So it's something to keep an eye on. Nationally, we'll be doing that. We'll be keeping you informed. So without further ado, we hope you had a great 4th of July week. Summer's here. Uh, please keep engaged and keep advocating with us. Take care.